Hello, good morning. Um, I'm obviously in the studio again today, and I thought I would just show you what I'm working on. I'm actually playing around, <clears throat> excuse me, in my own um, in my own journal this morning, um, and I was I had this little scrap piece of um, graph paper that had some you know pinks and purples and that kind of thing for acrylic. And so all I did was take a pen, a black pen, and I just did a really rough sketch of part of a flower. And I kept the lines simple and um, just, you know, intentionally kind of making it all wonky. So it wasn't perfect in any way, shape or form. And then once I had the flower drawn in in pencil, then I went back in with my um, Stabilo All. You can use any sort of water soluble pencil. Um, so it, it, you don't have to necessarily be a Stabilo all. So just whatever whatever water soluble um, pencil that you have. So I just went over again very loosely over the pen, the lines I drew in pen. Um, if it didn't exactly match up, that was perfectly fine. And then from that, I obviously got my water brush and then went over those lines I did with my Stabilo just so I can kind of give it that watered down black look to it. So now we have this effect. And what I'm gonna do is go back in with my pencil and just kind of very, you know, loosely just drawing those lines again, but I'm intentionally not following the lines completely because I kind of want it the scribbled look. And like that so you have that really nice loose I love the scribble flower look I just I just love it so now that I have a little bit of that going on I'm going to take my small little brush here um, this is just an inexpensive dollar store brush um, not a big deal and I'm just going to use it with my gesso and just kind of bring in some whites. I'm just gonna lightly bring in some whites here and I'm just gonna bring this here. And I'm just gonna bring in some whites here, go in. The reason I'm using a brush as opposed to my fingers like I normally do is just because I wanna have better control of where the gesso is going. So I'm just going in not thick that I'm where I'm adding the just so it's very light so I'm brushing it on and then rubbing it in with my fingers keeping it light like that there we go Okay, this is really getting cruddy, my gesso jar. Just a second here, it's bothering me. All right. Let's pop that lid on carefully there. All right, so now what I had planned on doing with this is, and you could do this with any, I mean, I just did a half a flower, so you could you know, go all out. And, and the whole point of me showing you this is that you don't have to draw a perfect flower or perfect whatever. Just those scribble drawings look really amazing. They look whimsical or whatever the word you want to use that suits you. Um, but however way you want to describe it. But I just was thinking of adding it just to the inside of my book. This is a book I had made for myself. Um, this was an, I had talked about this before in a previous video. This was an old book I had picked up at an antique thing, uh, antique store and the spine was falling apart. So I put down some drywall tape um, and I literally just taped pages inside. And this is pretty much just a sketchbook for the most part. Um, simple scribble sketches, you know, that kind of thing. So nothing, nothing really fancy. Um, it's when I just 
you know, just want to have fun play. Well, all my journals are for fun and play, but this is when I just don't, you know, I just want to do some scribbles, some scribble drawing. So I'm going to, I think, put this here and I think I'm just going to get my ruler and I'm just going to take this and rip off some of this excess and then put it there. Okay. Yep. That's fine with me. I don't want to overthink it. All right. So now I'm going to get my glue stick. Yeah, there we go. And one of those quiet days, you know, when you just have one of those um, quiet days where you yourself are feeling more um, quieter, your thoughts are slower, um, more quieter, and your talking is more quieter. I'm having one of those days. I think it's the weather. It's very um, gloomy outside. And I, don't get me wrong, I actually love the gloomy weather. I, I know that may be weird. Um, I just, I love the, the moody, gloomy, uh, it's going to rain kind of weather, those kind of days. I like it, but, you know, weather sometimes for a lot of us, I think, it uh, controls our moods and how we feel. And for me, it just, I become quieter. Okay, so I'm just going to carefully put this on here. All right. There we go. Good enough, I think. I think I got all maybe the edges here. Apologize if I get off um, I keep missing this green or getting off camera there that's what I'm trying to say getting off camera okay <clears throat> so there we go and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually I'm just going to get my little clamp I keep losing my clamps and so I attach them to the rod <laughs> my trap my camera's tripod <laughs> why not at least I know where it is the tripod doesn't move it's attached to my desk so at least I know the clamps won't move all right so I'm just getting I've shown this you've seen me use this many times before if you've been following me along here um so I'm just going to use this and kind of loosely go over lines i don't want to cover up all the black so it's just gonna follow just on the inside of these petals and everything there we go maybe a couple of dots there and there we go yeah i'm happy with that and then what i might do what I might do is um, get one of my labels here. I have the sheet of Avery labels and I might just write a word if I could think of a word. Um, you know what? I know what I'm going to write. I'm going to use my non-dominant hand because again, I just want things loose. And I have a harder time being loose with my dominant hand. So I'm going to write just be. So it's inviting myself to just, just be in the space of the art journal. Am I in my, anyway, sorry. All right, you can't really see anyway because my hand's in the way. Um, I have to write really slow. Just... <laughs> B. There we go. All right. So I'm going to bring this back and I'm going to peel this off. And I am going to 
figure out where I'm going to put this. Do I want it there? Do I want it going across into the flower? Hmm. Here, maybe? Oh, Tina, you're overthinking it. I hate that. Stop it, Tina. <laughs> okay, I'm just, I'm just putting it down. I don't care. Oh, I'm second guessing. Okay, never mind. See, we all do it. We all do it. All right, there we go. It just, it's just there. So I am now going to get my uh, Stabilo here and I'm just going to loosely just, and then I'm getting a pen and I'm like, ooh, yes, let's go do some scribbles because I don't want this sticker just plopped on there. And then I'm going to get my water brush get that out of the way I have to dab this and then I'm just gonna kind of go like that and then get this out of the way hold on a second I am going to hmm I'll stick with the pink theme and just get my water brush actually I need that wetter and put it in this bright pink color now these ones here this pink here was done with acrylic because it was just excess paint i put on a sheet on this graphite graphic 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 not graphite oh i tina really <laughs> you know what i mean you know what i mean um, but yes, the graph, the graph paper, not graphite. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to use this similar color and, but in watercolor and I'm just going to like, like that, dab it a little. There we go. I think that is good. I'm happy with that. Just add a little bit there. Dab, dab, dab. Okay, and then I think I'll go back with this and just there we go. Okay, how does that look? Does that look okay? I like it. I like the pop of color. So as soon as I open my book, it's right there on the inside cover. So I like that a lot. Okay, I think that's it. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, so there you go, nice and simple. So sometimes that's all it has to be is just a simple scribble sketch. Um, it's not about, you know, drawing something perfect. You don't know how to learn how to draw or like know how to draw. Um, so don't say, oh, I don't know how to draw flowers. Just scribble one on. Just give it a try. You know, just, just scribble one. Just look online, look at line drawings, Google line drawings of flowers. And, and you know, if you need to trace it, just to start off and, and with a traced flower and then take your pencil or pen and, and then go over the traced flower beyond the lines. So it's all loose and... Um, and carefree and not so perfect so give it a try and you'll see if you if you think you can't draw it or you think you can't do it yes you can <laughs> so I'm gonna leave that that's gonna dry because all the white that I did um, tomorrow I will be sharing a video on this journal this journal is done she is ready I'm just going to do a video flip through tomorrow and I'm also going to take photos of it so I can um, put those photos up on my website. But yes, this one is definitely getting listed tomorrow. So I am super excited to share that with you, the full thing. Um, there's a lot of pages. There's three signatures in this. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. I love this journal. So that will be coming tomorrow. 
But other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day or you are already having a fantastic day, depending on when you watch this. And I will see you back in here tomorrow when I share you this video of this journal or that this video, a video of this journal. All right. Take care.